Need stuff. Need stuff. Hi there, Scary Gary. Glad you guys came back. I don't know if you guys been counting, but I've been counting, and we've got one more week before we get to go up and pick up our new family member. And I thought that would be this would be a good video, making your trailers a little more pet friendly. According to Google, 65% of the people who RV have a pet. And of those, 93% of them are dogs and 8% of them are cats. Now, if you're doing the math, that's 101%. But the reason is that some people have a dog and a cat. That must be for an interesting time. Well, the main problem with an RV is they're like a car. If the air conditioner's not running, or if there's not proper ventilation, or if it, it's going to heat up very, very fast, and especially in summer climates. And even in the winter, I mean, we've been at winter, winter places, and you'd think, oh, it's nice outside. You come there, and just the radiant heat coming in the windows, it's sometimes you know, 10, 15, 20, 30 degrees hotter than it is on the outside. And you do not want your pet to be on the inside of that. I don't know if this dog got out of there because it was too hot or he just didn't like RVing. One of the first modifications that I'm doing to the trailer in preparation for our new family member is I bought a temp stick. That cost me, I think it was $159. I believe they're on sale right now for $149 on Amazon. It's very, very simple to install. It's just basically has a piece of Velcro that sticks to the wall and sticks to the back plate of it. It lifts off the wall so you can change the batteries out. Or if you need to do a reset, if you noticed, I placed it approximately at the same height as my temperature sensor is in my trailer. You got to make sure you're on Wi-Fi. It's going to send you alerts if your temperature thresholds go above a certain mark or below a certain mark, depending on if you're in the other side of things. And, you know, we all say, oh, well, the air conditioner is fine. What happens if electricity goes out? Well, you know, unfortunately, sometimes campgrounds, especially as the fullers are getting nowadays, they may get overloaded and boom, they pop something and then they're going to be off. So you're going to want to know that there is a problem so you can get your little rear end back there and hopefully save your your family member if you look at the app it gives you a graph exactly what it's reading either you set it on hourly at 30 minutes or you have different selections of what you can set the uh, one that sends you out what the temperature is in addition the sensor you can calibrate it to up to plus 10 or minus 10 degrees. The main problem with the different Wi-Fi's is when I set it up, it worked like a charm. And then I moved it to the next spot and I tried to set it up again. And unfortunately, it, was, it just wouldn't take it. So I called in to the manufacturer waited this normal 10-15 minutes to get to an actual normal person and they told me what you had to do was you have to remove the batteries six times and then it resets the system and then after that you just put the new wi-fi network in for your next place you're at and it starts sending you signals again i i know this if you're not comfortable, then I guarantee your pet's not going to be comfortable. And if your pet's not comfortable, you're probably not going to be comfortable. Well, I hope you've enjoyed, and be sure to come back next week, and you might get to see a new family member. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Turn on your post notifications. Click the comments down below. Subscribe and you'll make me happy. Ha <laughs> ha!